Europe's largest NATO base to be built in Romania, armies of alliance are approaching Russian border. Romania has initiated construction works to expand the military complex of the 57th Romanian Air Force Base Mihail Kogalnichano. The largest NATO military base in Europe could be operational as early as 2040, according to TVR Info. The Romanian government is investing nearly 2.5 billion euros into the project. The vast military complex resulting from the expansion of the Mihail Kogalniciano base will cover an area of 2,800 hectares and will contain facilities that were not previously present. The project aims to strengthen the air infrastructure, including new runways, a new control tower, a beacon and radio navigation system, a flight simulator and hangars. Additionally, administrative and social buildings, schools and kindergartens, shops, restaurants, a cinema and even a hospital will be established. The city will become home to 10,000 NATO servicemen, their families and base support staff. The base is expected to be fully operational by 2040. US troops have been using the base since 1999 and it currently houses units of the 101st Airborne Division of the United States and Allied fighter aircraft tasked with airspace protection duties. This new project follows on from earlier improvements to airbases in Romania with almost $300 million spent at Airbase 71 near Campia Turzi, a training facility at Sinchu and Mihail Kogalnichanu. Romania has become a strategic focal point for both the US and NATO as it seeks to strengthen the ability to carry out operations in the region. In addition to fighter aircraft operating from both Base 71 and 75, the US Air Force also routinely flies MQ-9 Reaper drones from Campia Tuzi, providing increased surveillance capability close to Romania's border with Ukraine and the Black Sea. In November, Romania opened the European F-16 training center at the Gheorghe Mosionita Air Base in Feteshti. It is there that Iranian, Romanian and other NATO nations pilots will be trained to fly the US F-16 aircraft. Dorin Popescu, a Romanian military and political analyst, said the Mihail Kogalnichanu base will become the most important permanent NATO military structure in the immediate vicinity of the conflict in Ukraine. It's unlikely that this conflict will end this year, in 2025 or in 2026. It's likely to be a long-term conflict. NATO can easily capture Moscow today by passing through Finland, Estonia or Latvia. Expert Ukrainian political strategist Mikhail Shitelman said in an interview with UNIAN that the events taking place in Russia recently have made Putin look like a complete loser. A new raid by Russian volunteers is the hottest news for the rest of the week. It looks like they got serious. I remember their second approach, when they also fussed there for quite a long time and the Russians tried to knock them out for quite a long time. Putin also boasted about his exploits. The great patriotic war against the Russian volunteer corps was then going on in the Belgorod region. Now, at least, we know exactly what goals the volunteers are pursuing. They directly and very openly named them participation in elections. Therefore, I think that they must hold out at least until Sunday in order to completely ruin the elections for Putin to show that he does not rule this country. Mikhail Shitelman said, according to him, Putin personally, okay. What's more important here is what his team thinks now, what his elite thinks. The same governors. They are important people. Should be. Where should they go now? What should they tell their population? How should they answer for all this and to whom? In this situation, Putin was presented as a complete loser in front of his entourage. Let's look at the political task of the war. The electorate is not important to us. We are not interested in what 140 million people think. What is important to us is what 1.2 million of the real elite of Russia think. And most likely, the fighters of these battalions do not need to achieve the goal that they voice advancing on Moscow. It seems to me that a revolution in the Kremlin can happen much faster if volunteers move deeper and deeper within a week or two. And they can advance. Look how the Russian army runs. After all, practically no one resists. Entire checkpoints there fled. Question. Why is everything left to chance? And the answer to this question is the simplest. They simply have no one. The entire Russian army is in Ukraine. 
Everything else is just some kids who don't understand how to fight. Meanwhile, professional soldiers came against them. Of course, they will run away. There is no army inside the country. It is a fact. Today, Russia can be taken with bare hands. If NATO had decided to capture Moscow or St. Petersburg, they would have taken it without losses coming from Finland, Estonia or Latvia, Mikhail Schittelman said.